Hi, this is the Free Computer Consultant. I want to do a screencast here on the initialization of a new drive. We uh, can find this sometimes when we plug in a new USB hard drive and there's a drive letter assigned. Now I have done a, a recent screencast showing how you can assign a drive letter if that device is all set up and ready to go. It's been usable uh, you know, in another machine. But if it's brand new, it may not even be initialized and uh, we're going to show you how to do that. So if you have the My Computer icon, I have mine renamed, but you can right click and select Manage and you get this computer management uh, little console here. And what we're interested in is disk management. But there are a couple other ways of getting here also. You can select the uh, Start menu and if you have the computer icon here, you can right click and again select Manage. Or you can click the Run command and type in this command that I have here, compmgmt.msc, that's the computer management console, click OK, and that will pop up here, and uh, we can select disk management, and we do that, Windows XP has already figured out that we've got a new disk here, so it pops up this wizard automatically. We're just going to click Next, and select one or more disks to initialize, there's only one disk here, this is disk 2, and we could uh, look for confirmation of that back here of what it is, but I know that's uh, the drive that we're, we've just plugged in. So I'll click Next, and it's just going to initialize that disk so that Windows can, can use it. Now here you see disk 0 is uh, my hard disk, disk 1 is a uh, zip drive, and disk 2 is this new USB external hard drive that I have plugged in. What we're going to do is we're going to create a partition here. We're going to right click and select New Partition, and another wizard comes up. So we click on Next, and it asks what kind of partition you want to create. A lot of people get confused here, or they have problems down the road if they select Extended Partition. And the only time you really want to do that is if you want to have more than four partitions on one physical drive. And that, hardly anybody needs to do that, especially anymore. Once in a while you might, but it's a special circumstance. I always select Primary Partition, and in this case I'm going to create the uh, entire available space as one partition. You can do it differently for different reasons, but I have no reason to do that here. It's an ex external drive and I want the max available space. So I'll click Next. And notice it's automatically prompted me to assign a drive letter. And it should be an, an unassigned drive uh, by default. If it is for some reason conflicting, you can set it to something else. Or you can tell it not to assign a drive letter right now. And you can have it not format the partition or format it. We want to go ahead and have it formatted. NTFS is the default, and that's what I recommend. It's a better file system, uh, more likely to recover from any errors than a standard FAT, or FAT32 even. Allocation size default, and for volume label, I'll just put uh, USB EXT for external. Now here on a new drive, you may not want to select to perform a quick format. It will be a lot quicker but uh, you really want it to do a, a, a full format the first time and make sure that it checks for bad sectors. If this drive has been used before and you're just trying to conveniently wipe out the data uh, so it's not, uh, not in the way anymore, it still could be undeleted, so it's not a secure delete that way. But uh, if you wanted just uh, a quick format just to get things back to, to zero, you can do that then. But I'm going to leave that unchecked for right now because this is a brand new drive. And I select uh, Next and click Finish. And we will get uh, a status here that will show us, okay, it's got this drive, it's assigned the letter K, and it's formatting it. And it should give us some status here as, uh, as it goes along, and then let us know when it's done. And there you can see it, it just popped up 1%. That'll take a while, and we're not going to watch the whole thing, but uh, this is pretty much... Uh, the conclusion. I mean, we have the uh, the new drive initialized, it's formatting, it'll be ready to go as drive letter K, and we can use the drive. And we did use a primary partition for the new partition. So that's it for this screencast. Uh, the, please visit my website, www.freecomputerconsultant.com. I've got a lot of the things there, other uh, videos, other tips and tricks, and uh, you can sign up for my newsletter. Thanks for watching.